I don't know, Court, those direct decorations are very impressive. Can they compare with your Halloween decorations, which yes. I hear are outstanding? <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm proud of mine, <laughs> but I'm, I'm realistic as well. And what <laughs> they have going on out there trumps mine by far. Way to go, kudos. You can recognize it when somebody out does you. Absolutely. And, well, what we're seeing out there for today, it's not just those decorations putting a chill down your spine. It's going to be the temperatures as well. It is cold out there for the start of your Thursday, and we're going to have chilly mornings over the next several days, cool afternoons, but sunshine returning, and then a big increase in north winds on the way for your Saturday, and that's going to put a real damper on outdoor plans heading into the first half of your weekend. So that is something you do need to plan around. Here's what we're seeing outside right now. A live look at the Sundial Bridge in Redding. Clear skies overhead. It's going to be one of those mornings where you're really going to want to bundle up if you're trying to take that walk across the bridge, get that fresh air. It is cold as we start off your Thursday and we're going to be seeing temperatures staying in a similar range over the next couple of days as well. So not much of a change of pace. In fact, if anything, we get a little bit colder for the overnight hours, Friday and Saturday mornings. Freeze warning, a hard freeze warning that is in effect through 10 a.m. in Trinity County due to temperatures that have dipped there into the 20s. We're mostly seeing 20s to lower 30s in our mountain zones, 30s to mid 40s in the foothills, and right now we're hovering for the most part in the low to mid 40s across the valley, 45 degrees in Redding as well as Chico, 48 for Orville and 44 degrees currently in Red Bluff. Wind out of the north up to around 8 miles an hour right now. Winds gusting up to around 15 to 20 miles an hour throughout the day today. You can see this is mid morning. By the afternoon, those winds not anywhere near as strong. Heading into tomorrow, we see a modest shift to south winds, but they're going to be light and then a big increase in those winds heading into Saturday. Get a look at this 9 a.m. Saturday, 20 to 30 mile an hour gusts projected along I-5 in the valley, 40 mile an hour gusts by midday. So again, this is going to put a damper on those outdoor activities on Saturday. Towards the latter part of the afternoon, we're still seeing gusts over 30 miles an hour, so it's going to be a windy one out there to start your weekend. Not quite as windy Sunday, though. Satellite and radar, clear skies overhead to start off your morning and the lack of clouds overhead, paired with the cooler high temperatures from yesterday, leaving us with chilly temperatures this morning. will be dry, sunny, and very cool for today as high pressure builds in. Low pressure now off to our east. This is the system that brought the showers yesterday. That's not having that same influence on our region today. We're not seeing the cloud cover or shower chances, but we are seeing the chilly temperatures lingering. Your hyperlocal futurecast, sunshine in the valley at 8 a.m. with some thin clouds in the mountains at noon. Still sunny in the valley, a couple thin clouds brushing across our higher elevations, and then just sunshine for your afternoon today. Mostly clear skies overnight with modest winds, resulting in even colder temperatures tomorrow morning with sunshine through the day. We'll stay sunny through the afternoon, and then the sunshine persists as we head through your weekend. Saturday, sunny skies, windy. Sunday, sunny skies as well. Not quite as windy as Saturday. We'll keep the sunshine early on next week, and great news, it's looking dry for Halloween on Tuesday. Checking in with what I'm tracking for you today. Highs, upper 50s to lower 60s in the northern mountains. Frost in the morning and then sunny throughout the day. Sunshine after the morning frost in the Sierra and Southern Cascades with highs in the 40s to mid 50s. Foothill areas, lower 50s to lower 60s for your afternoon with sunshine. And if you're in the valley today, it's mid to upper 60s for your afternoon. 67 degrees in Redding, 68 for Red Bluff. Wind out of the north up to around 15 miles an hour with those gusts in that 20 to 30 mile an hour range. Mid to upper 60s in the mid valley as well. So temperatures staying below average. We normally see 76 to 77 degree high temperatures for the valley. Today, we are not seeing that this afternoon. Your Storm Tracker 7 day forecast for your weekends always in view. Staying cool on Friday with lows in the upper 30s to low 40s, highs in the mid 60s. Temperatures similar Saturday, but again, we have those gusty winds sustained out of the north at 25 miles an hour, gust of 40 miles an hour Saturday. Not as windy and a little warmer with sunshine Sunday, warming up a little further on Monday with those mid to upper 70s. And then we see a drop down into the lower 70s with mostly sunny skies for Halloween on Tuesday. So great news there. But Kelly, those mornings are going to be, for the most part, very brisk. The afternoons below average heading through your seven day forecast.